welcome back to Pothos Farm. I'm very excited to play the next few days today, so let's get started. Um, today I have a bunch of things to harvest, as well as these bars are down over here. And then with this, I can finally finish um, the last couple of sprinklers that I wanted to make. And so if I get one more copper bar, I'll have all of the sprinklers for this area, which is extremely exciting. Um, Today it's going to be a lot of fun just working on um, farm work here and then I've got some stuff to drop off in the community center and also the museum. So I'm looking forward to all of this. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, I'm saving all of the hops that I get because they're much better when I get the um, keg and cask. So, no, don't eat the blueberry. Um, so, for now, so, um, my goal is to get all of these things. Stop eating the blueberry. Um, There's so many things ready today, so it seems like a good day to stop. Um, to get some more seeds as well because so much is done today. Um, so many radishes. Um, I'm really excited with how much it's ripe today. This is really, really fun. Um, also, with these copper bars, I may be able to make enough sprinklers to put some more in this other area as well. Um, not quite yet, because... Um, I need some more iron bars, but it can be something that I'm working on, which is very excited. First, I need to um, actually water plants as well. Oh, I do have, okay. Um, water the cat as well. And the chickens are hiding in the grass, but it's cute. Um, I'm excited with how the chickens are doing. to try to go into town pretty soon, so I'll probably come back to finish watering and stuff because um, I need to plant everything that I get as well, so I still have to go buy more seeds. So I think for now I'm going to put these away here, um, and I'll put 
some of the blueberries in here because I don't need them um, to be sold because I can use them for the community center. And then same with a lot of the radishes. I'm going to keep a couple. Um, but radishes are vegetables. Okay. Um, and then I think that I have yeah. I think I have enough hot peppers so I'm going to leave all of these behind as well. Um, okay. And then I'm going to start a couple more bars. Um, I don't have enough iron for more iron bars right now, but I can make some more copper bars for later. So, I'll do that and I'll run over to the stores and places that I need to go. able to get tuna in this amount of time, but I will try. Hi. Um, yeah, using a sword is fun. I'll let her go first because we are sticking to each other. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get Oh, it's already past the time that I can plant melons, so actually, I'm not going to. I'm gonna get, um... I can get some of these. I can get some of these. because those can grow through um and then that. okay um cool so now I'm going to pick up some forage actually I can bring one of these to Caroline to see if she's there right now because um I'm trying to get hearts with her so that I can get tea, so I'm gonna go see if she's home right now. Um, ah, she is. Okay. I can go over high. Well, that makes sense for where you live. Um, quickly do a bit of beach forage and then go back to the community center. Um, lost book. Um, 
Yeah, right yeah. now with the financial situation, because I spent all of my money on seeds this morning. So I really need to have more money. So any beach forage can be helpful with that right now. Um, Although with the season getting kind of close to the end, it's probably going to be one of the last times that I buy a bunch of seeds this fall, except for like wheat and radish, which are pretty cheap, so um, I'm going to start stocking up some money for the next season, though. Um, I had things to put in this one, I think. Uh, nope. Cool, okay. Uh, it's not this one, I think. It's the one in here, because I found something that is winter forage, so that and that are done now, so, um, I'm pretty sure that that's all that I had for the community center with me today. Um, I know I'm going to need an iron bar and a gold bar as well as a fire quartz eventually, so those are all things that I will work on eventually, but, um, yeah, for now, I think it's time to go plant and water everything and then maybe try to go fishing if there's extra time because, um, I'm going to need enough, um, time to try and get a tuna. I don't know if I can. Um, I'm going to have to probably bring snacks for energy, though. Okay. Um. I also wanted to check the... bulletin board because I feel like there was a thing other than the dye bundle that needed a sunflower, but I can't remember if there was. I think that might have been it. Um, I do need to bring wheat there, though, so I need to check how much I have of just regular quality wheat. F6. Okay, so that is something that I'll want to plant more of. Um, I'm gonna keep one of those and sell the rest because they are not something I need a ton of right now after turning in the other one. is a good amount, and I actually do have more, um, more wheat seeds, so I'll just fill in this area and get to work on watering, and I'm excited because it looks like tomorrow some more things are going to be ripe, so that's going to be useful. Um, 
I think tonight I'll also get a good profit from a lot of the um, crops that I got today. So, um, I'm excited about that too. I'm trying to pre-record some videos because I'm going to be going out of the country in a bit less than a week, so I am having a lot of fun doing this, and then I'll try to have it scheduled so that videos still come out while I am away. Speaking of, like, being out of the country, um, last night and then today I got to see Morgan again for the first time since she's been back from her trip, and I'm really excited to get to see her again, because we both had a lot of things happen in the time that we were in different countries, and so it was really fun to, like, catch up and get to talk and just hear about each other's trips and like what's gone on in that time so it was a lot of fun and then we played a card game that was a lot of fun and watched a show together so it was a nice day I also just um, yesterday finished all of my summer classes and I somehow got a 90% on my chemistry final. I genuinely don't know how, but somehow it happened and I passed the class and then I finished my science fiction films class, which I'm sad about because it was so much fun um, and I wish I was still in the class, but I got an A in the class, so I'm really happy about that. Today is like perfect energy amount to finish everything here, so that's really exciting. And then tomorrow I don't even have to use up that much energy because I've got the um, even more sprinklers today. I'm also going to clear just a little bit over here because I want to get some of these away from the tree so that they don't stop it from growing. And then, um, I wish I could have the hay instead of, um, like, it all being, oh, I can. Interesting, okay. Okay, cause now I can go put this in the community center. So I'm actually gonna run and do that. Um, quickly before bed. I'm gonna drop these off in here though, because... Okay. Yeah. Um... That's... That's very useful. Um... I love the little fireflies. I've said it in so many episodes, but they're just so, like, cheerful. It's not this one. It's this one. Okay. Um... Is it? No, it isn't this one either. Which place is it? It's... Oh, I think it's the bulletin board. Um... Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. That's really useful. And then I'm going to be getting apples in the fall, so this is probably going to not take too long since I'm getting somewhat close to the end of uh, summer. Okay. Um... And this is perfect timing to get back for the night, so, yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be really exciting to finish the community center and get stuff, especially the greenhouse I'm really looking forward to. Um, Perfect timing with that, too. Once I have enough wood, which isn't currently, but I'm hoping to get a, um, okay, sap is considered for it. Um, I'm hoping to get a chest inside where I can make, uh, jam ingredients over there so that I can just grab it easily. Um, these are resources. These are forage and my blueberry is for this. Okay. Perfect timing. I'm excited about the lightning rod. Yeah, I'm excited about all of that. Um, this is a good amount. Wow. Yeah, I would definitely have enough to buy a bunch of seeds today. And... The radishes, the blueberries, yes, that is really, really successful. Okay, um, I want to work on getting, ooh, okay, poppies are ready, that's exciting. Oh my gosh, crows, how dare you, I need more scarecrows now. Um. And I have honey, which is really exciting. Um, corn. Ooh. Okay. to try and get five star corn but currently or five gold star corn and currently I don't have that but I can sell these and I will sell these and then uh, sell the radish keep the rest I need a honey for the um, I'll sell this one, uh, for the community center, so I'll take that over later. Um, this is gonna get in the way of my plants, so that's not cool. Um, short from getting enough gold star corn. 
Um, also, I think I'm going to sell this batch of hops just because I have a lot so far and I can't even start to make the... I mean, I do have the keg, but I need... I could make one if I get... Um, if I get more iron, I could make some. Okay. I might buy a couple pieces of iron today just so that I can do that because I do have a lot of money today and I feel like it's a good investment um, to have that get started and then um, yeah, I will greet the chickens, get them started over here. I'll drop this in here. Yeah. Um. I want to get more chickens soon, but what might actually work better is trying to prioritize upgrading the barn so that I can hatch my own chickens. Um. How many? Plenty of those already. I'm going to um, Okay. I'm gonna go start heading over to town even though it's still pretty early to get some stuff I can drop off the honey on the way since the community center is open by now. And this, I think, is for the pantry, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Okay. And then I'll be getting apples soon. And I can't get any of these yet. But I can get... Maybe get another tree. I have enough for the pomegranate tree today. But... I also don't know if I should buy something else instead, um, but I will keep it in mind. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to Clint's first and then see what I have left over. I know that I'm gonna get um, mm. yeah I think I'm just gonna get enough to make one iron bar so that I can get the keg today and then for more later, I'll go to the mines sometime, but um, this way I'm gonna get more progress on artisan stuff and then be able to get wine and stuff, which is good for both profit and also for community center. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm grabbing beach forage and then heading to Pierre's to get some more seeds. I want to find a nautilus shell sometime soon because that's also really useful. 
Um, also, I think that I might actually get the pomegranate tree because it's something only one of them okay um it's something that i would like to do anyway how much are these worth oh my gosh that's worth quite a lot um yeah because i need a pomegranate anyway if I get it today, it will be ripe kind of mid. Mm, yeah. And then at the start of uh, fall, I might want to buy the other seeds so that they can grow during um, the other tree seeds so that they can grow during the fall season and be ready in the spring. Because I don't think they grow in winter unless they're in the greenhouse. So, this way I've got a bunch more radishes because they're actually very profitable for the price of the seed and they I have enough days left in the season to grow them, and they're not things that also can grow in the fall. So, first of all, I want to get started on crafting my iron bar, and then I need to have a copper bar, 30 wood, an iron bar, and an oak resin. So I don't have that much wood, but I'll put the wood that I do have in here, get out the oak resin and the copper bar so I don't forget them. And then I'll work on planting these. Um, and watering before getting some more wood. So. Usually I'm much more organized with my farm layout in terms of like planting all the same seeds together and stuff, but this year with everything being patchy in terms of like not having enough money to get a bunch of seeds at once, this is what we're working with. So I think it's fine for now and then hopefully by fall or spring I'll have a more neat layout, especially once I get more sprinklers, things will be more organized by um, what plant it is. So, I think I'm gonna have some flowers ripe tomorrow, so that's gonna be exciting. And, um, if I get more sunflower seeds, that will also be useful because then I can just replant them, and since they grow in the fall as well, there's no problem with that. So, um,. I also need to work on making another scarecrow soon. Um, what does that actually require? Okay, again, lots of wood. The other things I have, but wood is the limiting resources for everything right now. Um, I will get more shortly.
It's so convenient not having to water the entire row over there of the regrowing crops. I still have like half energy and I'm close to being done watering. It feels like a good accomplishment. Okay, now to get more wood and to plant my pomegranate tree. So I'm going to plant it in my little orchard area, which means getting rid of all of this stuff in the way. Um, and this way I just get some hay from it anyway. Um, which is useful because the chickens still have a lot of area, but this clears up some space for it to regrow, but I still get hay from it. Okay. Now to get wood. This whole area is good for that. Um... growing for my orchard. wood now that I can make both the scarecrow and the um, keg thing. So that's going to be really useful. And hmm, I'm trying to decide where I want to place that for now. Um, I can probably I need fiber and coal. Okay, perfect. So now I have both of those things. I can put this scarecrow just right here on the corner. And I will put hmm, I'm going to grab something to put in I'm going to make melon wine because that's really really valuable for now i'm just gonna put this there so that i can have one of each and now i know it's a bit late but i'm going to try to run to the mines to kill the dust sprite that the wizard wants me to. So, um, I got everything else that I need to do done today, so I might as well run and do this, and with this forage I can have some snacks while I'm there. 
and not have to use up all of my strawberries. So this will give me like a couple minutes in the mine, but I don't mind because I think I just have to slay one of them. And I think there are a lot of them in these levels. Like, there's one right there. So. Yep, there we go. Already. Winter roots again. Okay. Yep. So, even though. Um, even though I don't have a lot of time, I'm just gonna hang out a little bit, see if I can get some resources. Nothing special down there. Um, if I can get more iron, that would be great. Exhausted, so I think it's gonna be time to go. Um, but I did get some resources. I got seven um, iron ore, so that's enough for one more bar. I will probably use it towards a sprinkler or else the community center. But I feel like sprinklers right now are a little bit more important because I can always do the community center one later, even like in winter when I have no crops outside, so um, I think crafting things for the farm or um, putting it in the community center can wait because crops need to be a priority. Um, I might do Yeah, I'll do this so And that is it for the night. Let's see. Ooh, not bad. Not as much as yesterday, but this is not bad. Um, poppies are good. And the mayonnaise is giving me a solid amount every day, even though by itself it isn't a lot. It helps a lot, like, over time. Yeah, nice, okay. This is going really well. Um, I also, oh my gosh, so many flowers already. So I do need to go talk to the wizard today. Um, fresh melon, okay, sure. Um, Okay, I'm very excited about all of this and getting to harvest everything, but I think I need, first I'm going to check on these because I haven't in a while. Okay, nothing is there. That's fine. I'm going to um, greet the chickens, get eggs starting to be mayonnaise. Ooh, they're large today. That's exciting. Um... Anyway, I'm gonna put these over here and then run over to the wizard before I forget to talk to him. And then probably buy some more seeds again. 
and get um, get to work on everything in my yard. I haven't been over here in a long time. I think not since I got the translation for the community center. I love the little flowers on the on the wall of it. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Forage items. Okay. Upgrades are another thing that I need my iron and copper bars for because um, I want to be able to have the axe upgraded enough for the secret woods, but I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. something that grows in eight days or less so I'm gonna do more poppies because I know that they work in recipes as well and then radishes get it over with. Oh, I just barely don't have enough. Okay. Um, also one of those. I'll buy the grass starter recipe just to have that out of the way. recently. That's useful. Okay. Um, forage. I'm excited to start getting blackberries too. Um, that is not the right chest for what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. And I think I have a lot of these, so I'll just throw that in there for now. Um, okay. Ah. Okay. It's time to plant things and harvest things. Um, as I mentioned, I think in the last episode. I'm not planting any more mixed seeds this season just because it is getting towards the end and I want to prioritize things that are exclusive to this season and I'll also make sure none of the mixed seeds try to grow something that takes too long. I don't know if it's programmed so that it only uh, grows things that can actually be used or not, but I don't want it to if, it, if that is a possibility that it can do that. Um, I'm gonna also empty my inventory before I pick, um, much of the other things because I know that 
the um, all of the different flowers take up a lot of space. Okay. I'm saving some tomatoes because they are used for a bunch of recipes. So, eventually, that will be important. Also, I'm starting to get a good collection of hay, which is exciting as we get closer to winter and that becomes more essential. And I'm getting a good amount of sunflower seeds from these guys. So, um... the blue ones a lot, so I'm gonna keep, keep those, sell the rest of these. Um, okay. These are the priority because they are going to take longer to get ripe. The sunflowers can grow in the fall as well. Um, so, I can wait on them. Same with wheat will also grow in the fall, so. But I do wanna plant things so that I have empty space by the time that it gets to fall so that I can start fresh with new crops. Some of these sunflowers I think will be done on the very last day or like the first day of the next season. Um, I think that is all that I can plant for today. Um, I'm gonna run down here, get the mayonnaise, greet the chickens again. Um, make sure no plants are growing near my trees, which they aren't, so that's good. And I don't think I checked mushrooms today, so I'm gonna do that. And then water plants. Ooh, this is gonna be great today. Um, These mushrooms are very valuable. Um, okay. This season has been really, really successful so far. So, it's almost the last week of the season, which is a little bit sad because it's been so satisfying with all of my regrowing crops and stuff, but I'm also very excited for fall. I'm gonna start to get apples, which is gonna be exciting. Um, and hopefully I have the goal from like a video way earlier in this series where I said I wanted to try to have an upgraded um, coop or a barn or the upgraded house by fall and or more than one of those um, and so I think that that's a good goal I'm gonna need money and wood for those but um, I would like to still try to do that. I need one more seed because I found a place where there 
was another radish. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. I think today is probably gonna be my last day to buy more seeds because I've got a good supply and this way things will finish growing. I might buy like a bunch of wheat um, if a lot of things are ripe with like four days left in the season. But probably this is going to be my last time buying seeds before fall so I can start to save up for that and potentially upgrades that I would like to do for coops, barns, all of that. I think to get a barn I need 6,000 gold and then wood and stone. So that would probably be the next thing that I get as a construction project. So I might try to do that. Um, we'll see how much income that I get today and I'll see if I can get some more wood and see how much stone I have. I know I don't have enough wood, but um, yes. Let me check. Also, it's really satisfying to see how this whole thing of um, crops is filling out with things that I've sold. So it's a lot of fun to see. Um, also, surprisingly, I haven't sold some of the flowers. I should do that. Um, I will sell this and this and this. That will also get me a bit more space in my flower box. Okay, I need to now take Jody a cave carrot because that was a mission that I got. And... Then, I might go to the mines, because I've still got some time, and that will help with my stone problem if I don't have enough stone. I think I do have quite a bit of stone right now, but I could do that. Or I could get wood, but I think there's probably not a huge chance of me getting... This is the wrong house. Um... <laughs> I just casually walk into someone's house and it's not even the right person's house. Um, I, uh, yeah, cool. Yay. Well, this will help. It's not a lot, but it will help towards my barn project, but I don't think that I'm going to get a full 6,000 today. If I do, that would be awesome. But I don't think I will, so I think I'll have more time to get some wood later on. Um, so, the other thing, though, with a barn means that I will need to try to also sometime, probably in late fall get another silo because I'll have more animals to keep fed throughout the winter. But that is not a big deal, especially if I start getting good income from the other animals because then um, I can buy stuff from Marnie if I really have to, so. Um, these guys get so far back when you whack them. Um, that one didn't even get knocked back, it like teleported. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Little noise when they get whacked is kind of sad. They sound sad. It gave me coffee. The soot sprites are caffeinated. That's fascinating and potentially a little concerning. Um, 
Maybe that's why they're always jumping around so much. They're hyper from caffeine. Okay. I don't know if I'll get a full five levels today because it is later, but we'll see. At the very least, I'll get more on the Monster Slayer goals and more um, resources. Although this, I am finding a bunch of letters. I'm going to grab the iron that's here and then go down quickly so that I can try to get as far as I can. Um, I also do have food with me, so if I need it, I have supplies. Um, also, the soot sprite noises are really cute. I don't want to whack these guys because they're not actually bothering me and I can just leave. Ooh, monster level. These are actually kind of useful to me in situations like this because you can get down pretty quick instead of searching for the exit, you just defeat everything. But I also still don't know if I'll be able to make it to 60. So I'll probably finish this level and then have to go giant slime. These giant slimes aren't turning into little slimes as much. They both just turned into like actual slime or not. Um, there's a bat somewhere. Okay, well I don't really have time to wait to fight the bat. So I'm just going to run to the exit and leave because I have fallen asleep because of staying late at the mines too many times recently. So I think I'll just barely be able to make it home. Um, and then I have to be careful of not getting stuck on all of the sprinklers because they are there now. So hopefully... I think I'll make it. Probably. I think that if I can get onto my farm by 1.30 usually, I am able to make it home. Um, also, since it's single player game, if I open chests, it freezes time, so. Um, Yeah, I have plenty of, oh, this is cutting it close, but I am fine. Um, I have plenty of stone. Nice. Like I thought, we're not to 6,000 yet, but it's pretty close. Probably in the next week I can get a barn so that I can have that before fall starts. So, first things first, it's Queen of Sauce Day. Ooh, I need that for the um, community center, so that's really useful. Um, sword. Um, let me keep the gold ones. Also, Demetrius wanted a melon, so I'm gonna keep one of the regular quality ones. Um, I 
I think with melons and the rest of the crops here, probably by tomorrow I'll be able to afford a whole barn. So that means that my goal for today, beyond taking care of plants, will be getting enough wood to have a barn, because it's quite a lot. I think it's um, 350 or 400. So I'm gonna need to do a lot of work on that. I'm gonna give water to the cat and give the cat some scritches. Um, my trees are doing nicely. And got eggs. Um, the chickens are hiding somewhere. There's one up here lurking. The other one is in this corner lurking. Okay. I have located all of my pets. That's a good thing. Now to harvest this. go drop off a melon with Demetrius, even though technically I could do that tomorrow when I go order a barn. But I want to do it today to just get money and get it out of the way. So, um, also there are some empty spots, so I will just throw some stuff down where those spots are. Um, also, there's corn there. Um, with the show that I was involved in over and also now my classes being over, I have so much extra time, it's really weird. And so I've been reading um, a lot, and recently I've been reading the prequel to The Hunger Games, um, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, and it's really interesting to me because I know that the character that this, the book follows eventually is like, the corrupted president during the main trilogy, and so it's fascinating to kind of watch the story and notice, like, how he's being shaped by both, like, propaganda, life experiences, all of that, and it's interesting to me how, like, appearances are so, um so, like, forced upon him that he has to keep up appearances of, like, perfection all the time. And, anyway, I, in the last, like, day, I've read probably, like, 200 pages of it. Um, and, so I'm not gonna give spoilers, but it's been really fun to read. And it's kind of interesting going back into that, um that particular world because I haven't read the main trilogy in years and so it's fun to like go back in such a different way. I just love books in general, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been having fun with that. I 
And it's interesting to see like the capital's perspective instead of the district perspective because the capital clearly thinks that they are perfect and everything is wonderful, but even like their own citizens don't really think that, whereas in the original, um, it seems like everyone in the capital just believes in capital supremacy and that it's perfect and in this it's like some people kind of have to act like they have that opinion out of fear but it's also like some people genuinely do have that and it's really really interesting. Double check the price to make sure. Okay, I was right. And how much is the house upgrade? Okay. No, I cannot do that right now. Where is Demetrius? That is the important question. Linus, have you seen Demetrius? He's vanished. I doubt he'd be over here. But I'm just going to check on Monster Slayer things while I'm here. Um, yeah, I'm not really close to any still, but I'm making progress on them. Um, I don't really know where Demetrius goes when he's not at home. I know he stands over here a lot, but, yeah, hmm, um, Demetrius, oh. okay. hi. No, that's cool. I like outside after dark too. Yep, he's not here anywhere. Hmm. Maybe I'll run it into him when I'm walking around. Greetings. I've had the same dialogue with Caroline. Ooh, I have a heart with her. Um, I've had the same dialogue with Caroline for a while. Ooh, I have hearts with a lot more people than I thought. Wow. Okay. That's off topic. I need to locate Demetrius. I'm also gonna say hi to people though. Yes, they are. I will find one to give to you sometime since you seem to like them. is here. He is not. Okay. Oh, I found a sweet pea. Evelyn, come back. I will give you one. Oh, and it's gold star too. Nice. Evelyn, I have a present. Yay. Hi, George. Oh, you're actually concerned about me being cold instead of being like, Why are you in my house? Get out! <laughs> Probably. 
on grass. I'm gonna go check if Demetrius is back on the way home, then I'm gonna go chop wood if I can. Robin's outside now. Demetrius is still nowhere. Where is he? I'm gonna creepily lurk in his his bushes until he arrives. That's not weird at all. I'm gonna eat snacks while I wait. mysteriously absent. I feel like I'm wasting- oh my gosh, there he is! Have a thing. Thank you. Ooh. Now I only need to earn a thousand today to get the- barn, but I need wood, so that's what I'm gonna go do now. Um, uh, sure, I already did that with one earlier, but I'll do it again. Okay, um, it's time to get wood until it's late or I run out of energy, whichever comes first. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can have for snacks. How much are blueberries? Mm -hmm. I'll bring those. Okay. This tree is in the way. I'm sorry, butterflies. I am disturbed. I should bring the wood with me to see how much I have. I've also got my stone that I need to remember to bring tomorrow, so I'll put that in there now, too. Yeah, I don't have much wood, but it's fine. Also, this is in the way, so I'll move it. And these are done, so. Okay. Time to get as much wood as possible. I'm also getting seeds, so maybe I'll be able to make more field snacks as well. Um, snacks quickly because I'm gonna run out of energy otherwise.
Um. I know it's getting late, but also I have to get over 150 more. So I think I'm going to do this one more tree. I've got salmon berries. One more tree. Now it's time to go over to bed. Yeah. I'm excited though because I'm pretty sure that tomorrow I can actually go get my barn. I can also make more field snacks really quick because I know tomorrow I'm gonna need them. Nice, okay. Field snacks and throw in this. And these go over here. Okay. That was an effective day. Oh no, I'm gonna really, really quickly run and sell this. Okay. Do I have time to refill it? Hopefully, hopefully I do. Oh, just barely. <laughs> okay, yep, I have enough for the barn. I almost got enough for the barn just from this one day. I think the melons are a huge part of it. But also, forage today wasn't bad. So, yay, okay. That was the last day of that particular week, so this is going to be the end of the video, but I'm gonna just check outside, see what we have to work with. Where we have sunflower, some wheat, hops, blueberries, um, chickens are happy. I have very little energy today because I got exhausted yesterday. But I have some snacks and I have these, which I can eat today as well. Um, actually, I shouldn't gather these since I'm not saving this day, but yeah. Um, I will be able to eat those for snacks. And so I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.